I just got this eight pack of solar powered mole repellents sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review. And I'm, I'm convinced that these things work. We've always had an issue with moles and voles and gophers out here in our front yard. And uh, a couple of weeks ago, I put some of these out. I put a four pack out and uh, let's just walk through the yard. I want to show you this because I don't see any signs of any, uh, any new work from moles or voles. Um, so we went ahead and, and stuck them into the ground and what you're going to do is you're going to stick them in until you got four inches or two inches that are left above the ground. Now I've, I've been able to mow and weed eat and I haven't pulled them out of the ground. I've just left them right where they are. And you can see that these are old mole hills is where I've stuck them and, uh, and I don't see any, any new work throughout the yard, which is super nice and, and obviously We've got a mole problem here, or did have a mole problem. These are solar powered, so they do work overnight because they do have an internal battery that charges. And you can hear those buzzing. Uh, that's what it does. Every 30 seconds, it buzzes and vibrates the ground and keeps the moles, the voles, the snakes, and all those uh, rodents away. So once you pull it out of the box, you got a power switch on the bottom. You're gonna turn that on, and when you turn it on, it's gonna vibrate. just like that. So uh, we're gonna wanna put these about 70 to 80 feet apart. And so we're just gonna kinda make a, a diamond over here and uh, keep our yard protected. All right, so if you do have old mole hills like this one here, uh, they should go in there really, oh, yeah, just like that. It's really soft where the moles have been working. This, this almost looks new, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, golly. Okay, so we've went around our yard and we've spread these out quite a little bit. And, and kind of what you want to do is, is make a triangle or a square rectangle to, to box off your yard and keep them out of your yard. We've just kind of uh, went in a straight line because our yard is so big. Uh, but you can see two of them sitting there. We got two of them on over the top of that hill. We got two of them back behind us. And uh, I got a, another one, right. we got one on the other side of the fence and I have another one right here that we're just gonna drop in. But what you wanna do is, uh, after you get these in, just keep an eye on your yard. And if you happen to see evidence of moles or voles or, or things, uh, rodents crawling underneath the ground, uh, just move your, uh, move your, your little uh, repellents uh, to that area and uh, I tell you what, it's keeping them out of the front yard and uh, I'm pretty sure it's gonna keep them out of the backyard. So uh, we'll check in later.